Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first episode in the Rural America series, where we select a town in the United States with a population less than 50,000. The city chosen today was Natchez, Mississippi. So without further ado, let's get into the history. Natchez, Mississippi is the county seat of Adams County with a population of 14,520 as of the 2020 census, making it the 25th largest city in the state. The city has an area of 13.9 square miles, according to the United States Census Bureau, and is located on the Mississippi River, 90 miles southwest of Mississippi State Capitol, Jackson. Natchez is named for the Natchez tribe of Native Americans who inhabited much of the area spanning from 8th century AD to the French colonial period in the 1700s. The city of Natchez was originally established by French colonists in 1716, but fell under Spanish rule beginning in 1779. Then in the late 1790s when the United States acquired the area, the city served as the capital of the Mississippi Territory and later the state of Mississippi until 1822 when Jackson became the capital. Natchez is also recognized for its role in the development of the Old Southwest during the first half of the 1800s. During this time in 1840, the city was struck by a tornado that killed 317 people and injured many more, ranking it as the second deadliest tornado in U.S. history behind the Tri-State Tornado in 1925. The city also played a part in the American Civil War. The city was surrendered by Confederate forces without fighting in September 1862. After the Union victory at the Battle of Vicksburg in 1863, many refugees and slaves freed by the Emancipation Proclamation began moving into Natchez and the surrounding areas. However, the area was short on resources and resulted in many slaves and refugees having died of hunger, disease, overwork, or from the fighting during that time. After the Civil War during the Reconstruction Era, the city's economy rapidly revived, mainly due to it being spared the level of destruction that other parts of the South had seen. From 1870 to 1871, Robert H. Wood served as the mayor, and it is believed he is the first African-American mayor in the United States. Then, during the 1900s, the city's economy experienced a downturn. This downturn was the result of much of the steamboat traffic on the Mississippi being replaced by railroads, and also many local industries closing in a restructuring attempt that reduced the number of jobs. Since the 1960s, despite being a popular tourist location, this city itself has had a general declining population. Natchez is now home to Alcorn State University's Natchez campus, which offers nursing and business programs, as well as the Copaya Lincoln Community College. The city of Natchez and Adams County operate one public school system, the Natchez Adams School District, which comprises 10 schools. Natchez is served by the Natchez Railway, which interchanges with Canadian National, and the Natchez Adams County Airport, which is a general aviation facility with no commercial service. However, many tourists still visit Natchez due to its rich heritage history.